It doesn't just swim the ocean, it detonates it. This is the sperm whale. Longer than a city bus, heavier than a battle tank, and armed with a weapon no other creature can match. But here's the real question. How does a giant built for silence fire blast strong enough to kill without even touching you? Inside that massive head is a weapon nature never intended to be fair. The whale forces compressed air through its skull, slamming it against a wall of bone, where it's sharpened by a chamber of liquid armor called spermaceti oil. The pressure rips outward, focused by layers of dense flesh and fat into a single killing force. The result? A click fired at 230 decibels, louder than a space shuttle launch, sharper than any bullet underwater. But in the ocean, sound doesn't just travel. It crushes. It compresses. It hits harder than steel. One blast from a sperm whale can crush ribs, rupture lungs, and smash organs from the inside out. Divers near a hunting whale don't hear it first. They feel it. A shockwave detonating in their chest, like being punched by the abyss itself. You'll find sperm whales across every ocean, from Antarctica's ice shelves to the burning equator, ruling places even submarines barely survive. And it doesn't hunt alone. Each pod speaks its own private language, clicks and patterns pass like secret codes through generations. A Caribbean pod doesn't sound like a Pacific one. Sound becomes memory, territory, survival. When it hunts, it dives over 7,000 feet down, collapsing its lungs, slowing its heartbeat. It falls into the black, a living torpedo chasing prey no light has ever touched. It cruises at 5 to 8 kilometers per hour, but when it strikes, it surges past 30, it crosses oceans like a ghost. Males leave their family pods as teenagers, growing monstrous alone. Adult males dwarf females, 20 meters versus 12, and carry triple the mass. They battle with skull-crushing collisions, hammering head-to-head -head in wars fought deeper than human eyes can follow. Spermaceti turns their heads into living battering rams, absorbing forces that would shatter anything else alive. And when they sleep, it's like watching the dead drift, vertical, heads up, tails down, a drowned forest suspended in the dark, half their brain sleeps, half stays awake, minutes at a time, no dreaming, no drifting, only vigilance, threaten them, and the pod doesn't scatter, it forms a living wall, adults circle the calves, tails outward, ready to hammer anything that gets too close. Orcas can kill the weak if they catch them alone, but the bulls, they are untouchable. Even great whites hesitate. Most sperm whales live over 60 years, their skin is carved with scars, etched by squid battles, ship strikes and silent wars fought deeper than steel can go. Sometimes pods gather into superpods, but even then, each speaks in its own hidden dialect, ghost languages moving through black water. If you thought whales sang songs to the ocean, this one fires it like a weapon. If you thought the deep was silent, it's not. It's ruled by monsters who kill with sound. Like if this shattered what you thought you knew, follow before the next deep giant rises from the black, and now you know, stay curious.